PizzaFlix presents Classic Movie Monday. From 1943 is a stormy release by Paramount Pictures. Pizza Flicks fave Chester Morris stars as a regular Joe who discovers that mining for coal and gold digging are the perfect recipe for an epic disaster film. You ever been on a twister? You know, one of them big whirling winds we have now and again in the Middle West. It's so still before it strikes, like the world stopped moving altogether. And the leaves on the trees hang like they're dead. And you just know God has picked your town out for something terrible to happen. That's how it was in the mining town of Linden, Illinois, at five minutes till six on July 2nd, 1939. The whole thing lasted only a few minutes, swept through like a reaper and whirled out again. Seventeen lives wiped out like flicking an eyelash. Funny thing about a tornado, it can hit one house and completely miss the one next door. Take old man Linden's big mansion, never budged a shingle. But right down the street, all that's left of even a bigger place, P.R. That's Pete Ramsey's house. Brand new it was. Pete's wife was celebrating the housewarming. Now look at it. Act of God, you might say. Maybe. But if you knew Pete, you'd know there was a reason. Once, Pete would have laughed if you'd mentioned an 18 room house. Him and his family was just minors. All Pete cared about was a good day's digging, the sharp pencil to draw them pictures he was so good at, and singing on Monday nights with the London Employers Quartet. That was just a little over a year ago. Get down, ladies, sing this song. Do da, do da. The camp down racetrack by my long, oh, do da day. I came down there with a hat caved in. Do da, do da. I go back home with a pocket full of tin. Oh, do da day. Wind the run all night, wind the run all day. 
I'll bet my money on a Bob Dale nag. Somebody bet on the day. Captain Lady sing this song. Do da, do da. Captain race back by my long. Oh, do da day. Wind to run all night. Wind to run all day. I'll bet my money on a Bob Dale nag. Somebody bet on the day. <laughs> more better, more better. Be more tone, less voice. You, Charlie Muscles, relax. Oh, he can't relax, Tchaikovsky. His throat is muscle bound. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see you do this. How's <laughs> 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 boss, boss? Good? No? I. You boys don't do any worse next week on the Linden Employee's first broadcast. I'll be mighty proud. But well, don't you worry, Mr. Linden. It'll be terrific. Yeah. Hey, Joe. Uh, you bet, boy. Good night, boys. Good night. Good night. That's a swell guy, that Mr. Linden. Yeah. How about some drinks, fellas? I had run this place as a rehearsal hall, you know. Only it's on me. Hi, beautiful. Hi, yourself. Newcomer here, ain't you? Uh-huh. Yeah, I thought I hadn't seen you around before. Who owned this creep? Oh, boo boo, but you can see him anytime. How about coming in and get acquainted? All right, that's okay with me. Good. Hey, fellas, I want you to... What is your... Oh! She's fainting. Hey, 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 Give us a man. <laughs> you feeling better? Mm, much. Good. Well, say, that's not bad at all. Well, bad? I think it's darn good. That's just what you'd expect from a guy's brother. <laughs> <laughs> say, what did you want to see Bubble about? A job. I've been trapping this town till I'm dead. No kidding. What do you do? I'm a singer. Things have been pretty tough lately. I'll take anything temporarily. Hey, Pete's a singer, too. Sure, Pete. Ah, oh, shut up, Albert. You'd really like to get a job singing, huh? I sure would. Hey, Bobo, come in. There goes my dream, my lovely young dream. But he doesn't know I exist. Why, without so much as glancing my way, those blue eyes just ruin my day. There goes my dream, my heart's only thing, with lips that were meant to be kissed. And I stand here in my sorrow supreme, sighing there. What's your mean? Victory Kane. Did she get the job? Starts tonight. <laughs> oh, you got yourself a job, beautiful. Oh, I had a hunch you were going to be good luck for me. I have a feeling it's going to be better. Well, I have the same feeling, beautiful. Uh-oh, the night shift. Wish I could stay around and listen to you sing some more, but I'm on tonight. Well, there'll be other nights, won't there? Yeah, you said something. Hey, everybody, everybody go to work. Hey, Big Joe, here's Sally. <laughs> How you like that, Bob? She's always followed me around like a mother hen. Hello, Bob. I suppose you don't know you forgot something at home, Pop. Oh. I don't forgot something. See, I got my bills. Well, what about this? <laughs> oh. You're the most careless father I ever had. Hey. <laughs> How long has it been since you've taken your pills? Only a half hour. <laughs> All right. Take care of yourself. Hey, look at that, Bob. He's always fixing my clothes, <laughs> wiping my nose. <laughs> That's your own fault, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Pete. Hiya, Buttons. How's the yeah. stenography lessons? 
time. Well, look me up when you graduate. Maybe I'll have a letter to dictate to someone. <laughs> Who do you know that can read? Oh, cut it out. <laughs> yeah, come on, Joe. <laughs> Charlie, I'll have some. See you later. <laughs> there ain't a happier guy in the world than my brother Pete. Well, where do we go? Over the pavilion to dance or just one take a ride? Neither. You're taking me down in the mine. Huh? Oh, nothing doing. Oh, come on, Bob. I've lived here all my life and I've never seen the inside of a mine. What's there to see? Anyway, Big Joe beat me silly. You won't know. They're breaking in a lot of new men tonight. <sighs> now, look, Sally. Ask me to rob a banker. <laughs> Punch a cop in the nose, but take you down the mine. Not me. <laughs> come on. I know. Pop told me. You can't see the gas, but it's all right as long as it stays near the ceiling. If you get a lung full, it can finish. Come on, let's try another entry. All right. Hey, you! No guy. Watch that dynamite. There's plenty of white damp in here. Okay, okay. I'm no amateur. I work many of these mines over in Scranton. Just make sure you get it packed in right, that's all. Stand by, we're cutting her off. Joe gets here. Well, I... Go on, get going. I'll tell you. I couldn't get to Chris and that other guy. I just couldn't get to him. Well, there's nothing more we can do. Charlie. It's Charlie Morrison. Hey, I'm going to get those flags up before it spreads to the whole mine. Hurry up! They don't take her by sanitarium for blind people. But don't they? I mean, isn't there any hope? Who takes Sally and Mike? Who take her? Didn't you ask her to come down, Joe? No. And she don't go by herself. She hides somebody. Someday I find man who do it. I kill him, Pete. I make you promise. I kill him. Oh, sure, Joe. Why not? That's 
what Lyndon said right after you left, Albany. Calls me in the office. Wasn't that Lyndon? No, no, Gary. Told me I saved the mine because I had those guys blasting up that fire engine. So what does he do? He makes me fire boss. Hey, that's good. Just an added hitty. That's... Uh-uh. <laughs> Dames. They're dynamite. <laughs> Hiya, Victory. Back so soon? Had the job of you got in that mine. Well, there was an accident in mine. A couple of men were killed, so we knocked off work. Well, what happened? Oh, let's not talk about that. Baby, I don't know what you got, but in that dress, you got it. Oh, oh you like it? Yeah. In my working clothes. Let's sit down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How you do? No, I don't get it. If two of your pals were killed, why all the hoopla? Well, you see, when things like that happen, the bosses get the men away from the mines, so no superstition will kill them. You know, uh, mm -hmm. jinxes and like that. Ten years ago, a big creek was buried under thousands of tons of coal. Nobody will work that entry. They afraid maybe that Big Nick's ghost is walking there. Don't you think we're a lot of screwballs? No, I believe in things like that. Hoaxes and jinxes. As a matter of fact, I was born with a gift for fortune telling. Give me a hand. Well, as long as you can't read my mind, I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> I read your mind the minute I walked in here tonight. I knew you were good for a minute. You mean that painting gag was just a thing that... Well, what do you think? <laughs> oh, get her out of it. <laughs> hey, she sure is a pip, don't she? <laughs> oh, yeah. You really can tell my fortune? Mm -hmm. Long lifeline. Mm, no illnesses. Well, you're going to be a very big man in the business you're in. Maybe you owner of a mine, huh? That's right. You can't see anything there, sister. You just heard I was promoted tonight. Well, no, I didn't know that. Me a coal baron. <laughs> I'd rather be a cartoonist. You know, go for the newspaper. Well, just the same, you're going to be a big man in the coal business. <laughs> All right, you go ahead and laugh. Remember, I told you. All right, I'll remember. Let's date. I wonder, maybe I got line for form. <laughs> Bobo's club. Bobo talking. Hey, Pete. Hey, Pete. What? It's a call for you from the castle. What's the castle? Well, that's the big Linden mansion up on the hill. What the devil do they want? Hello? Ramsey? This is Gary Linden. I'm having a party up here. I've just been telling some of my friends how you made yourself a hero on that fire tonight. They're very anxious to meet you. You wouldn't want me to come to your party, and besides, I, I'm busy right now. No, go ahead. Hey, just a minute, sir. What? It'll we'll do you good to meet some of these people. Yeah? Uh, okay, Mr. Linden, I'll be right over. Yeah, thanks. Ramsey. He bought a friend. Don't like you to come, Ramsey. Hello. My sister, Diana. How do you do? I do. Uh, uh, this is my friend, Miss Kane. How do you do? I'm going to meet my friend. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Ramsey. Do you use any special tools to break out the coal, or do you just wang away with your fist? <laughs> She's a card, ain't she? <laughs> no, we use dynamite. Just put it down over here, Pete. Oh. Now, you girls stop monopolizing. 
Joni wants to build up big he-man's muscles. Cut it out, will you, lady? <laughs> and so the little birdie flew backward. He didn't want to know where he was going. He wanted to see where he'd been. <laughs> he didn't know it. <laughs> She'd be better if she went into her fan dance. Gary's always been a pushover for that type. <laughs> oh, Mr. Linden, I'm going to like your town. Of all the men in it, are as nice as you are. Get your coat. <laughs> Pete, what's the trouble? Come on, get your coat. But I... Hold on, Ramsey. What's eating you? Well, the party hasn't started yet. Our end of it's finished. You people have been asking me what we miners do and how we live and all like that. I thought at first maybe you was interested. But that wasn't it at all. You were given a party and you needed a couple of freaks to liven things up. And all the time you've been laughing at us. Oh, but well, go ahead and laugh. A lot of us guys didn't sweat a couple of quarts a day. Those minds wouldn't keep running. And you sit around thinking up ways to poke fun at people like me. This afternoon, a girl was reading a book. A book just like this. She'll never get to finish it. Or any other book like it. Because she can't see no more. That's on account of the mind. Charlie Muscles, the strongest guy in the state. He'll probably be a cripple the rest of his life. That's on account of the mind, too. Now you can sit around and laugh. Hey, that fellow really has something. What did they say? Never mind. Now, Ramsey, you must you understand. He really something. didn't mean it. We had a wonderful time. Oh, Pete! Just a minute. I heard what you said to my son and daughter. Maybe you're sore at me, Mr. Linden, for sounding off the way I do. Just because they got a lot of dough and live in a big house, they're not going to rouse me around. Listen, one of these days, I'm going to live in a bigger house than this. I'll show them how to treat people. I'm not sore, Pete. I just wanted to thank you. Yeah, for what? For carrying into them. They deserved it. <coughs> well, what do we do now? Back to boo-boos? Oh, no, I don't, I don't feel like that. Let's go for a walk. Huh? Oh, sure. Nice view from up here. While we're at it, maybe we can pick out a lot for that castle you were talking about. Oh, fat chance. How does this strike you? Perfect. You can put the house right over there. How do you like that view? You know, you can see 18 miles if the smoke don't hang low. Now, that town's not so special. All those little people crowding the ugly little houses. Yeah, but they're pretty nice people. Yeah, but the people who live up here, they're real ladies and gentlemen. You were saw when you were talking to old man Lyndon. You didn't mean it about the house. But you're going to build it, too. I know you are. You know, Vicky, the way you say it, you make me believe it, too. This has been about the craziest night I can remember. What I'm going to say will sound crazier than anything yet. Let's get married, please. Tonight. Well, that's not so crazy, Pete. You, you mean you will? Will you let me go on working? Oh, no. Not my wife. Pete, listen to me. I've kicked around ever since I was a little kid. Moth-eaten theaters and honky tonks. Joints you couldn't imagine. Believe me, so it's show business, and I love it. But I'm not doing any trading for a slatty little shack over in Miner's Town. I had all those things I've always wanted. Big house, furs, and beautiful clothes, servants, and important people to be my friends. I want you to be important, Pete. That's why you're going to go on with your work. To get us started. Make money. You've got to have money. 
Yeah, I guess you're right. But we'll keep it a secret for a while. Why? Well, how would it look for an up-and-coming super to have his wife working at Boo Boo's? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good enough. That's the way I like to be you. You're beautiful. Today. Oh, fine. You know, I feel kind of foolish about what happened to the house that night. <laughs> Friends? You bet. With no exceptions, a big course happened. What's the matter with your brother? I don't know. Come on, Joe, give us a bait. No! What we could sing when we work. Since they make him super, he big grown face. He's just trying to get somewhere. He's got ambition, that's all. He got to climb up, but he don't got to climb up on us, see? Oh, here he come now with Miss Linda. Big shot. Hey, what's the matter with you guys? Only two loads today so far. I tell you, Miss Linton, you're lucky. Hey, you got for two of biggest slave driver in business. Shut up, Joe, you're drunk. You sure have your troubles, don't you? Yes, I can have it. Albany. Escort Miss Linton up. Escort? How I'm going to make my portal with Squaw? Shut up, take her up. Thanks for the tour. I'll see you tonight, then. Right. Now listen to me, Joe. If you can't come oh, down here, wait a minute, please. Oh, please. Go easy. He hasn't been right since the explosion. He always keeps muttering about getting the guy that brought Sally down. I think if he knew about it, he'd get over it. Ah, uh, don't be a show. He's a your brains out with his pick as soon as anybody else. Hey, Joe. Joe, why don't you behave yourself? All I want is for my crew to fill his quota. You make quota so big, how are we going to do it? How Charlie can keep up, huh? He's all a cripple up. But he break himself to pieces before he let you know. Well, I've got to make my quota. Quota. Hello, Charlie. Hey. How's the uh, how's the arm and the leg? Good. Hey, Charlie, I uh I'm gonna put you upstairs for a while. Okay. Yeah. So you can take it easy. Mm. How about night watchman? Me? Mm. Night watchman? Yeah, it'll be better all around. Yeah, I guess I am kind of holding up the man. Well, sure, that'll, that'll be fine. Night watching. Now you're talking sense. Hey, where do you think you're going? Up in the big office. Get transferred to other super. Big Joe don't work for slave driver. It'll be okay, Pete. <laughs> you made me a nice watch. Me. Hey. Charlie must. Charlie's no good ones, huh? Hey, hey, Boots? Go on, sit on the table. Go on, Boots. He don't want for to leave you, Charlie. Come on, forget it, huh? Come on, have beer. Have another beer, Charlie. Come on. I don't want it. Hello, Bob. Hello, Victory. New suit, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. Great. How are the hands? Good as new again. Hey, look, Boris Christ Jitterbug. Hiya, Shorty. Charlie, you look as if you didn't have a friend in the world. I'm your friend, Charlie. Sure. Sure, Majestic. You're my friend. So is he. 
You're my friend, Baker. You bet your life. Say something for me, would you? Well, that's what I'm here for. What do you want to hear? Say me. I'm afraid. Well, that one again? I kind of like that song. Nobody else sings it like you do. Well, the customer's always right. I'm afraid of you. I'm afraid of you. So afraid of your magical charm. I'm afraid of you. Yet I long to be close in your arms. Your lips are thrilling, and I am much too willing. I know. I'm in your time. I'm afraid of you. Yet I know that I want to be king. What am I to do if I haven't the will to resist? It makes me tremble. And yet it's wonderful to be a friend. Would you want it? Yeah. You've been swallowing me, Victoria. I want to give you something. I'm Charlie Roswell. I'm giving the Victory Cane my farm out in the Oak Road. Oh, Charlie, is this a gag? Or what would I do with a farm? No, no, Victory. It's not a gag. Well, the farm ain't much good. I just wanted you to have it. That's all. It was my old man. He ain't been up there since I was a kid. I just... Hello, Mrs. Ramsey. Quiet. Won't be long before you can tell them all we did. Hello, Charlie. Well, what have you done up to? Oh, well, Miss Linda and her brother are coming down here with a party. Oh, slumming, eh? Yeah, and I'm one of the guests. Well, just don't you fall for that woman. You know, I think she's got a crush on me. <laughs> don't you go running around with that Linda name. I know how Victory feels about you. Charlie, why don't you go home? You've been drinking. I'm her friend, see? You can't two-time her. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Behave yourself. You can't shove me around, you. I can't fight a cripple. Oh, I'm sorry, kid. I didn't mean it. Honest. Come on, Boots. Stick around, Charlie. All right, thank you. Thanks for the song. <laughs> well, what do you think of the place? Oh, I love these out of the way spots. Do you think it's safe if you don't steal somebody's husband? <laughs> Hello, Ramsey. Hello, Pete. Hello, Pete. Hello, Pete. Hello, Pete. Stay out of here. You got something there, Boo Boo. You're pretty busy here. Why don't you let me take care of the Linden party, huh? <laughs> 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 but what did they have here for entertainment? Oh, every now and then a murder is committed. Isn't that right, Pete? Yeah, two every night. <laughs> <laughs> Why, it's Miss Kane, isn't it? Well, good evening, Mr. Linden. I didn't know you worked here. Oh, but I do. Pete, if this gets too boring later, would you take me over to the pavilion? <laughs> Oh, why, you clumsy. Oh, Miss Linden, I'm so terribly sorry. I... That's all right, as long as it was good bourbon. <laughs> yeah, but she never liked that dress anyhow. Dan? Why, I, I'd love to. Would you like to dance? I'd love to. A girl with your looks ought to be doing a lot better than this. <laughs> <laughs> 
I expect to. Perhaps I can help. I'm sure you can, Mr. Linden. Gary. Gary. I know he would like you should have it. You his best friend. Joe, you mean Charlie? We just find it floating in the river. Come on, Boots. Joe, take your car. Come, Boots. I never realized Charlie was feeling so low. Well, it's not your fault. You just couldn't take it being a cripple, that's all. Yep. Yes. Oh, yes, sir. What? <laughs> you have? Well, well, thanks very much. <laughs> yes, sir, I'll be down bright and early in the morning. Thanks again. Oh, bye. Well, who was it? It was Gary Lyndon. They decided to make me manager of my number one. Oh, Pete, I always knew you'd be Mr. Big. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> this is only the beginning, darling. <laughs> Get a hold of that architect tomorrow and have him draw up those plans for the house on the hill. Before I'm through, you're going to have everything you ever dreamed of. You're going to be the grandest lady in this town. You bet I will. show up, honey. Those people don't usually eat till 8 or 9 o'clock. Pardon, madam. It's 10 o'clock. Shall I serve now? Don't, don't be pink. The party wasn't good enough for them. Madam. Oh, shut up. Never in all my life the missus is upset. We uh, didn't bother cleaning up. They didn't even bother to make an excuse. We're just so much dirt to the oh, best. Darling, don't. Please don't. Come on, how about a smile? You want to go over to Boo Boo's and wish him Merry Christmas? You want to. I thought we'd gotten rid of that. Well, at least we're not as bad off as Charlie. Say, how about riding over and looking at that farm that he gave you? Oh, I don't care, Pete. Ain't much, is it? Oh, Pete, let's go home. This pile of junk only makes me feel worse. Hey, there's no top door at all. I want to try it. Come on, Pete, let's go. Oh, come on, Pete, let's Wait go. Wait a minute. You know what this is? A what? A coal. The tuminous coal. Coal? Yeah. You know, there might be a vein running right through here. Thank <laughs> you. 
mining company for? Work begins at once. Yeah. Where did Pete Ramsey get all that dough? I'm in for five grand. Pete's old man hocked his house for five more. And Pete had about eight. And he sold a few shares to pals. Hey, that's, uh, that's what you call uh, chicken food. You need lots of money to open mine. What equipment and everything. Yeah, but here's the payoff. Pete sold a 49% interest to the South Ridge Mine for $50,000. South Ridge? Hey, Lyndon don't gonna be like that. They gonna be very much mad. Let them. We're gonna make millions. Oh, bad business. <laughs> Who's here? Sally! <laughs> oh, Sally. You, you, you can see? I can see your face is still dirty, even though you are a big tall baron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sally, this is wonderful. When did you get back? Last night. Imagine they're keeping it a secret. Oh, well, the operation might not have been a success. Oh, this is nice. Yes. Yeah. I heard about your marriage, too, Pete. I hope you're very happy. Oh, you love Victory. Where do you meet her? Pete Sally wants a job. Well, I, uh, I could certainly use a good secretary. Does, uh, does your dad know you came? Not yet. Well, maybe I better tell you, Sally. Things are a little different. You see, uh, Big Joe is trying to keep all his friends from going to work for him. He says I'm a traitor to the Lindens because I got Southridge to back my mind. Well, Tom's bark is a lot worse than his bite. I wouldn't let it worry you. They're just jealous of you down in Miner's Town. Yeah. Well, I, I could certainly use some help. Well, what are we waiting for? And that's the way it is. If we don't get some cash in the next two weeks, we'll go to your father. That hardly gives me time to turn around. Give me 90 days. I'll dig up the money. In 90 days, you may be in a worse position. That VK mine will put a crimp in your sales once it gets started. Maybe. Give me 90 days and I'll guarantee to make a substantial payment or turn over additional collateral. All right, but that's the last extension. Thank you, Nugent. You'll hear from me. Sir, cut the clowning. This is important. You're having some of the girls out to the country club this afternoon. Could you ask another guest? It was awfully nice of you to drive me back from the club. Not at all. You have fun? Oh, loads. I'm going to make Pete join right away. Those are the kind of people you should know. I think it was charming of your husband to call it the VK mine. <laughs> yes. Oh, Pete's done wonders. Of course, he has his troubles. He can't get enough skilled men to get up full production. And then with his cash all tied up, well... I'm sure he'll pull through. <sighs> yes. Leave it to Pete. Wasn't that Pete's wife with Gary Linden? No. But I'm sure it was. I'd say it wasn't. Now, do you still think it was? Okay, okay. It was two other guys. You won't see me, Mr. Linden? I hear you've been going around town talking against Pete Ramsey. Well, have you? He's no good. He's traitor. Taking in South Ridge Mines for partner. He's cheat his best friend to make money. I see it. Sit down, Joe. You're right about Ramsey, Joe. But there's one thing more you don't know. About Pete. Who do you think took your daughter down in the mine and blinded her? 
Everybody knows but you. She, who is that? She's in love with him, Joe. That's why she wouldn't tell you. Everybody knows it but you. Well, she'll hear you. No, Joe. That wouldn't do you any good. I've got a much better idea. Big Joe's been a big fool. Sally told me you've got plenty of troubles. And you need good miners, so maybe... Oh, Joe! If you walked in here and had to be a million bucks, I couldn't be any happier. Pop, I knew you'd see it our way. Oh, it's wonderful. This is the way things should have been a long time ago. I've got number three started, Pete. Hey, Bob, look what dropped in. Joe's with us now. That's swell, Joe. Gee, I'm glad to hear it. Did I ever tell you you were beautiful? Pete, be careful. You'll crush the flowers. Get your coat and hurry. I'm famished. Yeah, but you're still beautiful. Now what? Hello. Yes, Ali. The blowers. Oh, for the love of Mike. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. Well? I can't go, honey. The main blow is busted, and if I don't get it fixed, there'll be no work tomorrow. Oh, but Pete, it's my birthday. We've been planning this for days. Yeah, but look, honey, I can't buy that house and everything unless I work for it, you know. Well, I should think somebody else could take care of it. I'll try not to be too late. Why? Hello, is Garen in the room? Well, let's hope she don't break down again. I'm sure it won't. Oh, you're sure, huh? Well, that's fine. If you'd attended to your job in the first place, it never would have happened. Oh, bearing can burn out. Not around here, it can't. I have to do everything myself or it's all botched up. I do my work. Yeah, yeah. It's so well, I have to bust my wife's birthday party up and come down here and do it for you. Our guy can make a mistake. Oh, I'll mistake my eye. That was just carelessness. You're through, Camden. But Ram, now, Pete, be real. Go on, get your pay. Pete, you let Camden go on quick. Yeah, what's eating you? Oh, I can't take any more. Ever since you got married and become a big shot, you, you've gone haywire. You're losing every friend you ever had. Oh, yeah? It's that wife of yours, Pete. Well, you're sweating your heart out to, to buy her furs and jewelry and a big house neither of you need. She's paying you back by chasing around with other guys. Yeah, what other guys? Just other guys, that's all. You're a liar. Yeah, well, you're walking around with blinders on. She's a no-good scheming two-time. Hey, stop! Hey, stop! Get back! Cut it out! What's the matter with you two? Well, I'm true. All right, get out! Pete! I'm not sore, Pete. I just feel sorry for you. Before you're finished, you're going to be a very unhappy guy, and it's going to be that dame's fault. <laughs> you know, I don't know what I'd do without you, Sal. Here's the bracelet you ordered for. Came on the late express. Oh, swell. That ought to make her feel better about tonight. I'm sure it will. Victory. Oh? You up? 
Where have you been? Out. Do you realize it's after three? Well, if you're going to work all night, you don't expect me to sit home twiddling my thumbs, do you? Oh, yeah, out with Please, you talk to me like that, and I'll walk right out of this house. Don't ever talk about walking out. I, I was worried. You know how I feel about you. Good night, Steve. I'm awfully tired. Oh, Victory, I've got a surprise for you. Explosion. Must be the mine. <laughs> Nobody does that, Miss Majewski. It might not work tonight. Majewski down there? No, couldn't be. Two men down there, Joe, doing a cleanup job for me. I'll ring the signal bell. Maybe they'll get on the hoist. Better bring the hoist up now. If there's anybody alive, they'll be on it. Camden. I came right over. If you don't want me, I'll... Oh, sure, thanks. Camden, you and Joe go down with me. We'll see what's to be done. It's no use. I know can go down now. This is no time to lose your nerve. Put on your mask. Jeski of Bodhi. White dab everywhere. Oh, awful. Jeski is gone. There's nothing I can say, Mrs. Jeski. Jeski is gone. Well, you'll be taken care of, you know that. Jeski is gone. Joe, take her home, will you? No. Somebody else take her. I got to stick. I take care of her, Mr. Ramsey. Come, Mrs. We're not to seal up the entries until the fire's choked out. That might take a month. Pete, we, our finances can't stand it. That's the break, Sally. Mining Company is withdrawing its interest in the ill-fated Victory Mine. This comes as a blow to many employees of the burning mine who have been unemployed since the explosion. It looks now as if the mine Show will that not be over. What's the matter with you? I got money in that mine. How come you still got dough for booze, Joe? Those other VK miners are in a pretty bad shape. Leave me alone, Bobo. What's the matter? Maybe you ought to take your pills. Yeah. Give me a glass of water. I'd hate to be in your shoes, Joe. If you lose those pills in a couple of hours, you're a dead goose. Shut up. Everybody talk dead. Dead, dead. Shut up. Oh, 
Hello, Pete. Pete, you're worrying yourself sick. Why don't you give up? I'm going to open this mine again if it kills you. Even if the fire's out in a couple of weeks, you can't pay your bills. Sally, look, why don't you get away from this town? Marry some swell guy and give yourself a break. I better get Ajax on the phone for you. Oh, wait a minute, Pam. You remember Mr. Johnson, Sally, the steel man I was telling you about? Yes. Well, he's bringing his wife to dinner tonight. He's my last chance. With all the worry lately, Victory's been... Well, I figure she needs a little change, you see, and so I'm sending her up to Chicago for a couple of days. Would you mind taking charge of things for me tonight? Well, of course not. I'd be happy to. Let's go out there. Uh, will you, Captain Bradley? Uh, no, thank you. We don't drink. As I understand it, you want to hypothecate deliveries of coal against an advance which will enable you to reopen the mine. Yes, that's it, Mr. Johnson. You see, according to the temperature reports, we ought to be in the mine within the next two weeks. I think it can be arranged. How much will it take? Well, uh, I, I think 20000 ought to cover immediate expenses, and then that will give us enough to... Hello, everybody. Victory. Mm. You thought you were a smart thing in a way, didn't you? Well, I knew there was something phony about it. The little victory came home again. Get a hold of yourself, will you please? I'm Pete's wife, and he didn't want you to meet because he was... And that's his secretary. Little goody two-shoes. He thinks she's a lady. I'm not good enough. How do you like that, huh, Pam? She's been sick, Mr. Johnson. Sally, help me get her to bed. All right. Come on, Victory. Oh, will you leave me alone? I'm all right. I feel just fine. And don't you go trying to hype on me, because if it wasn't for me, you'd still be grubbing in the dirt with your grimy hands. And I'm not good enough, huh? I think you should go, John. Naturally. Well, I'll get to the bed, Mr. Johnson. No, get... no. Everybody sit down. We have a very intelligent conversation. Under the circumstances, Ramsey, you'll excuse us. I'd like to get together with you, sir. We can... I'm afraid that's impossible. I'll be in California for another month. Sorry. Good night. Good night. Good night. Do you realize what you've done? That was my last chance. I... Oh, what's the use? Oh, you're not angry at me, are you? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> She's in love with you. Did you know that? Little goody two-shoes is in love with you. Will you get out of here? Go on, get out of here. I, I hate the sight of you. Sally, I'll take you home. Don't bother me. I'm not good enough for him. Who does he think he is anyway? Well, if it wasn't for me, he'll never get the dirt out from under his fingernails. Gary Lyndon wouldn't even wash his hands on him. Come in, come in, whoever you are. I'm Mike Barnaby, Mrs. Ramsey, friend of Pete's. I work for him when the mine is open. What, what do you want? Well, the mine has been closed so long, and things is awful tough with my family. So I was going to, well, I was going to ask him, could he lend me some? Uh, a little help? Oh, well, I just hate it. So. Here. Oh, no. no, no, now you take it all of it. God bless you, Mrs. Ramsey. I'll pay it back as soon as the mine is open. And thank you again. You're a real lady. You say that? 
retro life. Retro life hammer. Yes, Mr. Lincoln. I thought you'd be interested. Yes, sir. I can't talk anymore now. Goodbye. Uh, Ajax called about their bill. Again? Yes. Pete, just a minute. Hi, Pete. What do you want, Mr. Linden? Well, I, I heard things weren't going any too well with you. Well, who told you that? Everything's fine. The mine will open in a couple of weeks. Oh, well, in that case... Uh... Why don't you tell me the truth, Pete? All right, I will. I'm busted. The mine... The house I'm building, uh, my old man's house, are all hucked to the hill. And all the friends that trusted me, they'll go down with me. I used to envy you. What was it they called you? Happy Pete? Yes. Happy Pete. Now, uh, haven't we always been friends? Your father worked for me. Why didn't you come to me for the money? I've got some of my own that doesn't belong to the company. Hey, wait a minute. You mean you, you'd loan me the money? Keep it to yourself. But now that you're an owner, I want you to remember this. Our obligation isn't just to ourselves alone. It's just as much to the people who work for us. Our obligation is to keep the mines running. All of them. To keep the miners working. Now, you go ahead and open that mine just as fast as you can, and the money will be waiting for you. Hey, Scully, the main shaft's open. No, no, the fire's out, but it'll take a couple of days to blow the white damp out of those entries. Well, you can tell your boys down at your local to report for work in a couple of weeks. That's, uh, see, that's, uh, two weeks in the morning. Oh. No, that's definite. Right. So I said you wanted to see me. You in trouble? No, you heard what I just told Scully. Sure, but what do you want to see me about? Just to tell you what a chump I've been. Ask you to come back and, well, the mine hasn't been the same about you. Gee, that's swell, Pete. You're a hundred percent. Come on, let's air out that number one entry. Hello. Hello, Pete. Uh, kid, you better change your clothes. Tell the men I'll be right there. Okay. Your brother doesn't like me. What do you want to see me about? We're pretty busy around here. Oh, Pete, don't be like that. I said I was sorry about the other night, didn't I? You've been acting like a stranger. I've had pretty good reasons, haven't I? Yes, I, I admit that. Oh, I was upset and jealous. Well, if I'd known how important those people were to you, well, well, everything's all right now, isn't it? Sure. They're waiting for me. Oh, Pete, then it's all right to go ahead with the house for me? I'll, um, I need a little money. Sure. As long as the mine's open, money won't mean a thing. Pete, I'm proud of you. Everyone in town is talking about the way you lift this thing. Well, you see the guest list at that house for me. You think they'll come this time? To this house? Mr. and Mrs. Peter Ramsey, owners of the VK mine? Are you kidding? Hello, Sally. She is beautiful, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is. All you have to do is knock us gas masks loose in a white damp section. It would be an accident. You can take Frankie along as a new man on your ship. What for? Just for insurance, Joe. We can't have any more mistakes. If the mine had stayed closed a few weeks longer, I would have been able to buy it for buttons. Do you understand what to do then? We're going down now and blow the gas out of the last two entries. Oh, we'll be running full blast day after tomorrow. 
This is your big day, isn't it? How's everything up at the mansion? Fine. Pete, what I called about... Could you get Sally to come up here and help? She's so efficient. Oh, Sally. Yes? She, uh, she wants to know if you'll come up and help. <laughs> Seems to be a lot of confusion up there. Why, yes, if you want me to. Sure, she says she'll be glad to. Well, no, I may be a little late. Well, I'll try. Right. I'll show that little saint face who's boss around here. Thanks. Come on, boys, here we go. Albanick, you and Gus and Ed take every three. But I like for to go with Joe. Why? <laughs> he owed me two dollars. <laughs> well, that's a joke. What's the matter, Joe? It's awful hot in here. Better put your mask on, man. Look out for this shoring. Pretty shaky up there, Pete. Yeah. You better set the timbers in concrete before we pull out any coal. Well, I'll have Camden attend to it. Looks so good. I'll put in an emergency call and tell him to rush the tools. Maybe we can still get him out. I saw Frankie coming at you. Are you okay? Yeah. <coughs> Just a whip. Well, at least with the door closed, we'll have air for a little while. Yeah. All right, Joe. Why did you get him to get that rabbit job? Why did he try to kill me? He don't kill you. But I'm going to kill you myself. What's the matter with you? You going crazy? You take Sally and mine and make up life. No, oh, Joe, you're wrong. I should have told you before. It wasn't Pete. It was me. I brought Sally down. You lie. Try say Pete. You don't fool me. No, Joe, it's the truth. You think I come back work because I your friend? <laughs> Joe smart, see? I came back to fix you. You think explosion that close mine is accident? Big Joe do it. Sure, nobody else. A big Joe. <laughs> I fix your mind so she's no good. Now I fix you. All right, so you hate me, Joe. You gonna make you feel any better if you kill me? Sure. You will make me feel. <sighs> I guess I don't want to kill Lobo. Joe, where are your pills? Where are they? my coat for the other side came in. Where did you take them last? More than two, two and a half hours ago. Wait a minute. I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, but that would take hours. I get away now. I'm never going to die in the mine. Oh. I, I, I 
should have told you before, Joe. I'm the one to blame for Sally. And that only matters now, huh? Sure, I'm not fault. I killed him, Majeski. I'm the one that killed him, nobody. Majeski, he was my friend. But why, Joe? Why? I'd be jealous. I want you to be back in mind with the rest of us. And with a Gary Linden pay me to do it. Gary Linden? He want your mind. He close up so he can buy it cheap. Linden want your mind. I be big fool and do what he tell me. He after your wife, too. She no good. She caused whole trouble. You're crazy, Joe. You're making it up. No, Pete. I'm gonna die anyway. I got to tell truth. I was here with Linden all the time. I thought you was lying. I'll take care of Gary Linden. Pete. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Joe. Me. Can I get anything for you, dear? No, thank you. Everything's fine. Is everything all right? Your house is simply charming, Mrs. Ramsey. Oh, thank you so much. I hope you're having a nice time. Will you excuse me? Sure. Gary, I'm so glad you could come. I'm speechless. Oh, do you like the house? I mean, copy this from yours, but I do like this decorating better, don't you? I'm going right home and burn on time. <laughs> you want to see the rest of it? What time does the 40 cents tour start? Oh, not for hours, but for you, a special personally guided tour. Oh, Sally, dear, will you keep your eye on so you see that everybody's having a good time? I hope you like the rest of the house. Wait until you see my suite. I had all the furniture made up special for you, come. You hit the jackpot. Oh, I knew I would. But don't think I don't appreciate the help you give, Gary. If it weren't for you, all those people wouldn't be downstairs now. Hello, Barnaby. I'll take it, Pete. Your wife hired me to take care of the car. Pete, you're terribly late. I almost didn't get here. Sally, I gotta tell you something. What's the matter? What happened? I'll talk to you later. I better get myself cleaned up. Gary thinks the house is beautiful. You better hurry and change. What kept you? You can ask Linda that. Surprised to see me? No, why should I be? Well, Pete, what's the matter with you? Now hurry up and change and get down to your party. It's your party, victory, and your day. Must be wonderful having all the big shots in town downstairs and Gary Linden up here. Pete! What are you insinuating? Oh, well, let's cut the kid. Big Joe did your work. He's dead. But the mine's open. We started loading just as I left to come up here and beat the daylights out of you. Just a minute. We can talk this out like gentlemen. I'm no gent. Ask victory. Pete! <laughs>
Head for the cellar. Another window cracked. Odd, oh, isn't it? Yeah. Down the street, your house. Oh, Mr. Linden, about Gary. Oh, I'm not blaming you, Pete. Gary is my fault. Made things too easy for him. Uh, any word about Miss Lutchick? Can I have some coffee, Pete? Dad? Thanks. Thanks, folks. Here comes Dr. Joe now. We've been expecting for some time, Dr. Lots of work to do all over town. Well, who's first? Got to take care of the newborn as well as the injured, you know. Did somebody have a baby? Just at the height of the tornado. A minor, name of Alvin. Cutest little girl you ever saw. I'd lost her if it hadn't been for a young lady who came along just at the right time. She took Mrs. Alvin through the worst part. Wasn't much for me to do when I got there. What was her name, Dr. Uh, Alvin. No, no, I mean the girl that uh, helped you. Oh, yes. Uh, she told me her name. Uh, Bessie, Jenny. A very bad name. Was it Sally? Oh, might be. Uh, about 21. Yeah, dark hair. Uh, so hot. She's still down there if you're interested. Hold that, will you? I'm so glad you're safe. I've been here all night, ever since the twister started. Well, why did you leave up there? Oh, I don't know, Pete. 
all of a sudden I just couldn't stand it any longer. The people, the noise. I was on my way home when Alvin it came running out, yelling that I had to get a doctor. Then the tornado came. So we did the best we could. Come on. Are you like my little tornado group? Ain't she wonderful? Wonderful, Albany. Someday she's going to be high torn lady and live in big house on top of you. Same like your house, Pete. Someday. Well, I hope that little girl of yours will never want that big house in the hill, Albany. I gotta tell you, Sally. Big Joe is. Yes, I know. Alvinick told me. The house is gone. And Victory's gone. Pete. Let's not talk now. We have plenty of time to talk. Right now, there's too much to do. Yeah. Yeah, we better get started. 